What's up, everybody? Go Burns here. Welcome to the second of three races today for Racing Badly, and it's Crow versus Crow. That's right, Crow Club members going head to head to head to head today, and the first race didn't end so well for me. But what else is new? <laughs> We're doing one of the Independence Day weekend event races that is the Sovereign Motorcycles, and the race is called Tour the Lake, and you think I would have an opportunity here to actually do well. I mean, we're all on the same bike, which is the sweet big old hog Sovereign, the Western Sovereign, which came with the Independence Day Special. But it's me we're dealing with, and if you follow racing badly three days a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, you know when it comes to racing, I'm not very good. <laughs> it's true. Now, I really do like this bike. It's a nice-looking hog. I didn't really feel like dropping $120,000 for it. I just don't really have the room in my garage. I already have two motorcycles, my uh, Body 801, and, of course, the uh, Sanchez, which I got for free, by the way. I jacked it off somebody up in Blaine County. <laughs> it only cost me three grand to put the uh, insurance on and then everything else. So, hey, I love free stuff. Plus, that's the name of the game, Grand Theft Auto. Duh. Anyways, currently in second place right now. But there were several reasons why I chose not to get the Sovereign. A, the price tag, as I stop here to take a leak at this uh, mobile home. <laughs> no, I did not intentionally stop. I ran into that damn thing. <laughs> it usually happens for me. So the Sovereign, while it's a nice-looking bike, it ha handles rather well for a motorcycle. Um, the issue I have is the fact that it's a lack of customization. I mean, what you see is what you get on her. I mean, you can upgrade the engines, the brakes, the wheels, but that's pretty much it. You can't change out the stars and stripes. You can't pull the saddlebags. You can't make it a two-seater. So, yeah, I didn't really think it was worth $120,000. Plus, since Rockstar keeps releasing more vehicles with each DLC, there's only so much room that I have left in my garage for new vehicles because something may come out down the road in the next DLC that I really want, and then I may have to make a tough decision to sell one of my other rides, and I had to do that a week or so ago. I had to sell two of my sports cars because I wasn't really using them anymore. Anyways, I'm also used by Mascaro and my Jester. So I was kind of hoping, actually, and I didn't talk about this in my review yesterday for the Independence Day Special, which you can watch. It's up on my gaming channel, by the way. Still in second place. Yeah! Happy about that. I'm not in dead last. I'm not at the bottom, which is where I usually am. But one of the things I really would have liked to have seen included in the Independence Day Special was a muscle car. Now, this wasn't my idea. I saw someone else mention this uh, a few days ago. I think a muscle car would have been sweet. I mean, that's an American car. Maybe the Dukes from Grand Theft Auto 4 or the Stallion. One of those two options is I go, oh, no, don't do that. Don't. Damn it. Oh, I knew this race was going too well for me as I'm in the water taking a little drink. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, well. Hey, I'm still in second place somehow, but uh, I think my, uh, <laughs> oh, I think this race is uh, turned for the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I would love to have a new muscle car. I know we just got one with Hipster, the Blade. But I really want the Stallion. That was one of my favorite vehicles in Grand Theft Auto 3. And of course Vice City, San Andreas. And most recently Grand Theft Auto 4. I just love that muscle car. Plus the Dukes was freaking awesome. It was such a great ride. And I really think that they should reintroduce one or both of those muscle cars. It would have been perfect for Independence Day because this is all about America. And when, which vehicle screams America more than me hitting a pole? Damn it! Ah, crap. I told you this race was starting to go downhill, quite literally for me. In third place, I hope I don't get another damn DNF. But, like I was saying, what do you think? Do you think a muscle car would have been another addition that they should have included? Or would you like to see a muscle car somewhere down the road? What kind of vehicle or vehicles would you like to see added in a future DLC release? Let me know below in the comment section. Oh, by the way, you can join the Crow Club. That's right. We are looking for new members. We have up to 60 now. We're a fun, small, active crew, always doing stuff together, goofing off in free mode, doing missions, earning RP, money, ranking up. And, of course, we're going to be doing some events together, kind of like this, racing and doing other things too. We do survival missions, we do rooftop rumble, trash talk, and we're planning on doing, um, I think, a car show soon. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So be sure and join the Crow Club if you're looking for a brand new crew to join on Grand Theft Auto Online. I have it linked below 
in the description section as time starts to run out. I do not want another DNF. Please just let me have third place. Please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Third place, baby. Oh, yeah. It beats a DNF. I will take it any day of the week. Give me the bronze, please. I will wear that with pride. <laughs> That's how bad of a racer I am. I will take anything over a DNF. Of course, congratulations to Lady, and of course, she is the victim of the bald glitch as well, just like Nano was in the first race. So, with the second race over, it is currently tied. Nano, one race. Lady, one race. And me, zero. So, who is going to win the next race? Well, stay tuned. That is coming up in just a few on this channel. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Be sure and check out all my episodes of Racing Badly. And, of course... The rest of the stuff on my gaming channel, post content daily, seven days a week, and hit the subscribe button that helps the gaming channel grow. It also encourages me to make more videos for you. Thanks for watching.